Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Well, today I have my FPV bag because we're going to fly some FPV and I have the brand new NanoHawk X inside this bag. Check this out. Let me just open it without everything falling out. And you can see it's down here. There it is, right there. NanoHawk X. Now this video is gonna be a little different than other videos. I'm gonna do the unboxing and everything right here, set it up, and we're gonna go fly it in like seconds. Here we go. So quickly, what's in the box? You have your NanoHawk X over here. You have your charging system. You could charge up uh, to six batteries, it looks like. And it uh, looks like they only give you one battery. So if you have other batteries, you can charge them on there. They do provide adapters. Please note how the battery connector is. It looks like an XT30 connector they've stuck on here. So you will need some sort of adapter. And I believe if I look here, yeah, they give you some adapters right there. So you're all set. So you can connect these to the battery or older batteries you have, and they will hook up nicely to be charged in here or connect directly an older type battery to this here drone with this XT30 connector. Also, they give you a tiny screwdriver here with a pile of screws and they give you the props over here. There's the props. So I'm gonna put the props on the drone and we'll get it flying. Now Emacs also sent this sheet of paper which is sent to every person who reviews this drone and it says all the key points that they want reviewers to say in their videos. So I am not gonna say all the key points but I'm gonna tell you the things I think that are pretty cool. It has 11,000 kV brushless motors. Also this size, it's a three inch drone, uh, one S battery and it's a 41 gram dry weight. I think that's really cool. Has a run cam nano 3 up front and the most important thing is that this little vtx thing here a lot of times emacs drones when they're small they only have a vtx that shoots out 25 milliwatts this one is capable of shooting out 200 milliwatts so behind me over there is a football field that means i should be able to fly this behind me over the football field's length with no issues. Oh, and let me not forget the flight time. It says if you use the battery and you just cruise around nice and slow, uh, you'll get about seven and a half minutes. But if you start doing freestyle and racing it and going fast, you'll get from 3.5 to four minutes. So you could really suck the powder out of this thing. So that tells me this has probably got a lot of zip. All right, let me assemble it and let's go fly it. Okay, so when you get this drone out of the box, you're gonna have to bind it to some sort of radio you own. So I have a very inexpensive Iashin TX16S here, and I have already bound this here drone to this radio. To bind it, it's very simple. Just take your radio, set up a new drone, and basically when it comes to the bind section, just select FR Sky D8. That's it. And in order to bind the drone to the radio so they speak to each other for the very first time, there's a little switch inside. So you plug the battery in, you get some power. Then everything's gonna turn blue. You press down the switch, hold it for two seconds, and then press the bind button on your radio and they will bind together. This, this is a props in drone, so it means you just press them on and make sure they are pointing to props in. So I'll do that now. Just push down, that one's on. If you don't know what props in means, if you take a look at the drone, it means when your propeller spins, this is the nose, they have to spin inward, so they're spinning in. And in order to spin in, just look at the curvature on the prop from logical source of knowing how any prop works. When a prop spins, it's got a curve to catch the air and push it downwards. Just make sure it's spinning in a method that can do that. And then when you put on the rear, you always match this prop to this one on the opposite side and this prop to this one on the opposite side. And finally, after you put the props on, make sure you put two screws in each motor. I've just moved down here so I can show you nice and close. There we go, so there's two screws in that one and I'll do it to each of these motors. It holds the props on nice and tight. All right, now I'm over at this camera. I'm bouncing all over cameras. So I'm gonna turn this radio on and it should start up and make sure all my switches are ready to go. There we go. All right, throttle warning, fix that. Hit the return button. There we are. So now I take my little drone. Stop talking radio. Now I take my drone and I stick the battery underneath. It's already got these little built-in battery straps back here. Stick your battery any way you want. It looks like that. I'm doing this really quick. Just make sure when you plug it in that nothing is in the way of the props or else the props are just gonna chop it to smithereens. So I plugged it in, looks good. Now let's make sure that my drone is bound to the radio. So I'm gonna plop it down here. Hopefully you can see that. And then I'm just gonna hit the arm switch. The prop should spin when I hit the arm switch. Yep, see they spin, we're all good to go. 
there we go. So now I'll just put the goggles on and let's go fly it. All right, so the video you're gonna see when I fly it is gonna be in my Fat Sharks. Fat Sharks are only designed to record video for the pilot in case I lose or crash the drone. I play the video back and go find it. It's not made for cinematic viewing. So what you're gonna see someplace, I'll stick it over here. I'll stick the video up there. What you're gonna see is gonna be low resolution. So here we go. So let's make sure we're in the right mode. Let's go into right into acro, acro mode. mode. There we go. So we're gonna fly it a little crazy. So we're not gonna get our seven minutes. All right. All there we go. It's pretty windy. There I am over here. Hopefully I don't have too much interference. I know the video doesn't look that great. This is a tiny pinhole camera. So let's do a little bit flying crazy. Let's do a punch out. Okay, I'm up. There we go. And let's do some spinning. There we are, no problem there. No problem there. So this would be designed, oh, here I'm over the football field, by the way. So this is designed more for people that want like a nano 40 gram little putt-putt drone that they can just buzz around. Now Emax is pretty proud of this drone because they've been working on it for a while. They got the brushless motors for power. Let me just go full speed forward. There we go. It's too small to attach an external camera. You are stuck with the camera that's in it. Um, so let's see, let's just try a little upside down flipping. There we go, come around. It does have some range on it due to the 200 milliwatt VTX, which is really decent. And so far for my flight with the wind and everything, I'm not getting a low battery at the moment. If you look to the bottom right, when you fly a drone, so on mine, it's on the bottom right, see that 3.6? Now you wanna keep that above 3.2. If you're at 3.2, then you also just uh, kiss your drone goodbye. So one thing I should mention is the camera is fixed in place. So you're stuck at this angle. So when you fly, this is the angle the camera is at. Let's just try this. There we go. Let's go like this. And let's see, I'm gonna buzz around this here control tower. Control tower, see, there it is. So I'm really sucking out the battery now. There we go. Let's go up to the light fixtures up here, buzz around those, that's pretty cool. I can go around these things. Looking down, checking that out. This thing is so small, it's like a little mosquito is basically all it is. And if I wanna go over to this area here where people sit, and in there, that's where they comment on the ongoing football game. This is just a small community, so we have just a small football field. Uh, it's like a little hometown thing. It's pretty cool though. There I am sitting there talking. You probably can't see me that well because of all the glips and bloops that's happening in my little fat sharks here. All right, let's go see if I can land it on top of my Jeep. Oh, I hit the Jeep. Did you hear the clunk? Okay, try number two, landing on the Jeep. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> I missed it. So that was a crappy landing. I hit the kill switch much too early. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put links below. I'll just come down here. What am I dragging behind me here? I got my fat sharks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here and uh, put links below to where you can find this drone on the Emax website or any other location it might be located. It, I don't think it's very expensive because look at it. It's just uh, carbon fiber and plastic with a camera in the center shooting out a VTX at 200 milliwatts, brushless motors. Oh, look at this. I bent a prop on that last crash. I didn't even notice that. So when you bend the prop, <laughs> you just bend it back. That's why they're plastic. There you go. It'll fly as good as new now. So anyways, check out the links below. See if this is the drone for you. All right, guys. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If you have questions on this drone, just post them below. And uh, I think if anybody gets this drone, you're going to have a lot of fun. All right, guys. Catch you in the next video. Bye.